Hello everyone, I am Anurta Dutta from Century Law Firm and today we are going to discuss about Hindu and Muslim laws of marriage and divorce. So let's start with introduction to Hindu marriage. So Hindu marriage basically kya hai? Isko ek sacrament ki tarikhi se dekha jata hai jo ki ek union hai between a man and a woman jiska aim hai procreation of children. Isko govern kya jata hai under the Hindu Marriage Act of 1955. So what are the essentials of a valid marriage under Hindu law? So four essentials are uh, under Hindu law. Pahla, monogamy, which means that no spouse should be living with the first living breathing partner. Second point is uh, soundness of mind. So both the parties should be of sound mind. Both the parties should not suffer from attacks of insanity frequently. Or both the parties should not suffer from any such disease or disorder which is a problem in the future ke, for procreation of children. Now moving on to the age of the parties, third point. So according to the new amendment in Hindu marriage law 1955, it is that both male and female should be more than 21 years of age. Now last point being prohibited degrees of relationship. So under section 5 clause 4 of this act, it has been said that there are particular prohibited degrees in which we can't marry anyone. Particular SL relations are maintained in which we can't marry anyone. But it has been further defined in this section. So now we are moving on to the divorce. So in Hindu marriage act, the divorce has specifically defined but its basically meaning is the dissolution of marital ties which were formed during the time of marriage between a man and a woman. So what are the grounds of divorce? So the first ground is adultery. Adultery means that when any spouse is taking part in sexual intercourse with his partner, with any other person, we call him adultery and under this ground, we can file for divorce. Second ground is cruelty. So if anyone has done any physical or mental cruelty in cruelty, we can file for divorce in this ground. Third ground is desertion. So desertion means that if one spouse or another spouse abandons them for a period of more than two years, then we can file for divorce in this ground. Fourth ground is any incurable mental disease. So if any spouse has a mental disorder or a disease or is suffering from a procreation of children, we can take a divorce in this ground. Now next ground is any incurable disease or any communicable disease. So अगर कोई भी spouse किसी ऐसे disease से जैसे कि leprosy या any other such sexually transmitted disease से suffer कर रहा है, तो इस ground के अंदर हम divorce file कर सकते हैं. Then next is renunciation from the world. So अगर किसी भी spouse ने normal life को छोड़के religious world के लिए निकल गया है और वो religious world में जा चुका है, so in this ground, we can file a divorce in this ground. Then last point is presumption of death. So if one spouse has not heard of the other spouse or has no knowledge of them, or has no knowledge of them, or has no knowledge of them, for a period of more than seven years, then he or she can be presumed dead. And in this ground, we can file a divorce in this ground. Now let's move on to introduction to Muslim marriage. So, we also say that we have a nikah and it is mostly a form of contract rather than a sacramental bond. Muslim philosophers have told us that Muslims also see the marriage of Hindu as well as the marriage of Hindu as well as the highest. And it is also considered as a religious obligation in Islam. So, now moving on to types of divorce in Muslim law. There are three ways of divorce in Muslim law. First by husband, second by wife, third by mutual consent. So let's discuss about the grounds of divorce by husband. So first is Talaq al-Sunnat. There are two parts, Ahasan and Hasan. So first and the most appropriate form of Talaq, which is also considered the best form of Talaq, is Talaq al-Ahasan. So in this case, 
जो एक सिंगल प्रोनाउंसमेंट ऑफ तलाक दिया जाता है और ये हस्बैंड को तब देना होता है व्हेन द वाइफ इज फ्री फ्रॉम हर मेंस्ट्रुअल साइकिल उसके बाद द हस्बैंड लीव्स द वाइफ टू ऑब्जर्व इट द फॉर 90 डेज और उन 90 डेज के अंदर हस्बैंड और वाइफ को किसी भी तरीके के सेक्सुअल एक्टिविटी और सेक्सुअल इंटरकोर्स में नहीं इन्वॉल्व होना है आफ्टर दिस द तलाक वुड बी कंसीडर्ड वैलिड now this is the most appropriate form of divorce now moving on to talaq ul hasan so this is also considered as a good form of divorce not the best one but the good one to isme three pronouncements of talaq di jati hai similarly jaise ehsaan mein diya jata hai isme bhi jab wife ka menstrual period nahi chal raha hota hai when she is on a period of tuhar or purity us time pe husband ko three consecutive period of tuhars mein wife ko talaq dena hai और उसके बाद उसके बाद उसको एक पीरियड ऑफ इद्दत ऑब्जर्व करना है जिसके बाद डिवोर्स जो है वो वैलिड हो जाएगा नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू तलाक उल बिद्दत व्हिच इज आल्सो अ टाइप ऑफ डिवोर्स व्हिच इज गिवन बाय द हस्बैंड उसमें दो फॉर्म्स है इला एंड जिहार तो पहले तो तलाक उल बिद्दत बेसिकली एक इंस्टेंट फॉर्म ऑफ डिवोर्स है जो कि अब और प्रेवेलेंट नहीं है इंडिया में क्योंकि ये बहुत इंस्टेंट है और इसको गवर्नमेंट ने बैन कर दिया है सो so, इला में पहले द हस्बैंड स्वेयर्स टू द नेम ऑफ गॉड दैट ही वोंट इन्वॉल्व हिमसेल्फ इन एनी सेक्सुअल एक्टिविटी व्हिच इज इन्वॉल्व विद द वाइफ तो अगर उसने वो कर लिया फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ मोर देन 4 मंथ्स देन द डिवोर्स वुड बी कंसीडर्ड वैलिड नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू जिहार जिहार इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ डिवोर्स इन व्हिच द वाइफ हैज द राइट to say no to have sexual intercourse with the husband if he compares her with any of the uh, prohibited degrees of relationship like the husband's mother or sister or any such other relations so she has a right to say no to sexual to have sexual intercourse with him and a right to seek for divorce now moving on to the uh, grounds for divorce uh, which are available to the wife so wife ke paas ek hi ground hai jisko bolte hain talaq ul tafweed jisme husband is the one who delegates his power to the wife means the husband will give permission to the wife ki ha ab wo usko divorce de sakti hai to husband ki permission se bhi technically divorce ho raha hai but isko consider kiya jata hai divorce by wife aur ye uh, tabhi uh, wife de sakti hai if the husband is unable to maintain her or if the husband wants to marry someone else now moving on to divorce by mutual consent so two forms of divorce by mutual consent hai first is um, khula and second is mubarak to khula mein basically kya hota hai ki the wife has to give a certain amount of consideration back to the husband like the benefits that she has gotten from the husband during the time of marriage jo usko mehr mila tha or the benefits she has obtained from husband she has to give a particular amount of consideration back to the husband then this divorce would be considered as valid or second form hai mubarak mubarak mein any either of the party can initiate the divorce proceedings and once any of the parties accept the divorce proceedings then the divorce would be uh, considered as valid and irrevocable so moving on to the conclusion of the video that what all we have discussed today तो हमने सब डिस्कस करने के बाद ये देखा है कि हिंदू और मुस्लिम लॉज ऑफ मैरिज एंड डिवोर्स बहुत डिफरेंट है एक दूसरे से और दोनों ही हिंदू और मुस्लिम कल्चर को बहुत अच्छे से दर्शाता है दोनों के अपने-अपने एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस हैं बट दोनों ही कोशिश करता है कि वो एक इंडिविजुअल राइट लोगों के इंडिविजुअल राइट्स को मेंटेन रखे और अपलिफ्ट करे सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग एंड प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब